Hey there, Claudia St. John with Affinity HR Group. We are your HR partner and resource. With the holidays approaching, this is also the time that a lot of companies give out their bonuses. So we just wanted to take a minute to talk about that. One area that's, that's pretty tricky is that a lot of companies have discretionary bonuses that they give out usually at the end of the year based on the performance that the company has had for that year based on their success. Um, but a lot of companies um, just sort of give out bonuses as they see fit. So um, this is an area that we see uh, usually companies where the owner has been there for a long, long, long time and has been doing it the way that they like to do it because they've always done it this way. It's kind of the time when the owners get to hand out the candy and, and act as some sort of a, you know, fairy godmother or father when they're dispensing out the bonuses. The problem is that this is an area where you really can have a lot of bias creep in. You know, I don't want to give it to Joe because I don't like Joe. Well, Joe's probably maybe performing very well on his job. You may not like him, but that doesn't mean that he's not deserving of a bonus as much as anyone else who's performing at that level. So it really is an opportunity where uh, personal opinions and animus and bias uh, can take hold. We strongly recommend that in advance of bonus time and maybe in the beginning of the year as you're setting out the performance goals that based on money, based on, on company performance, there is some system, some criteria that is objective with which to provide that, um, that bonus at the end of the year. It will just protect you. It'll make it more predictable for the employee. Is you still get the opportunity to give it out and to um, and to get that feel good feeling of giving that gift to your employee. So I, I recommend you do that. I also want to re recommend one other thing. Remember that everybody has a family at holiday time. So maybe giving a gift to somebody's children or somebody's pet or somebody's loved one. To, that you remember the important people that are in folks' lives. There's also a great uh, website called TISBEST, that's T-I-S-B-E-S-T dot -E org. That is a website where you can purchase a gift card for an employee. You can put whatever amount in you want. You could do it for all of your employees. And that gift card is a donation that they can make to any charity of their choice and they get to contribute to, you know, whether it's a religious institution or a feel-good thing or a cause that's particularly important to that employee, as long as it's a 501c3, a tax-exempt organization, you can donate that money. And you would be amazed at how wonderful giving the gift of giving to an employee is so that they can give to somebody and something that's important to them, and then they get to tell you why you get to learn a little bit more about them. So it's a wonderful time of year. We're grateful that, uh, that you all are in positions to be able to, to reward and recognize your employees at the end of the year. It's just best to do it in a way that ensures that um, there is no bias or, or hard feelings that come into it. Happy holidays, everybody, and I hope that you have a safe and productive holiday season. Take care.